My great-grandmother can remember a time when women were considered physically and mentally inferior to men. She remembers a time when it was considered improper for women to speak in public. She was telling me all about the hard work that women have done to make sure that we are treated equally and have the same legal rights as men. It all began with the suffragettes, who fought in many countries for the right to vote. Women were denied the vote because they were considered too emotional and could not think as rationally as men. To protest being treated as second-class citizens, suffragettes carried out direct action, like chaining themselves to railings, setting fire to mailbox contents smashing windows and, on occasion, setting off bombs. One suffragette, Emily Davison, died after she stepped out in front of the king's horse when she tried to get his attention at the Epsom Derby. Many suffragettes were imprisoned and went on hunger strikes, during which they were restrained and forcibly fed. New Zealand was the first country in the world to grant women the vote. In 1893, all women over the age of 21 were permitted to vote in parliamentary elections. In 1920, after years of petitioning and picketing, women in America were finally given the right to vote by the US Congress. It was only in 1928 that women in England were granted the same right. Women did not only fight for the right to vote, they joined forces to fight for a better world for all. On March the 8th, 1911, on International Women's Day, a million women demonstrated all across Europe for better working hours, the same wages as men, abolition of child labor, and an improvement in their living conditions. Here in South Africa, women played a big role in ending apartheid. Although women were part of the liberation movement's campaigns, they could not be full members of the ANC, and so Charlotte Matreke formed the Native and Colored Women's Association. The most well-known demonstration by women was against pass laws. On August the 9th, 1956, women marched to the Union buildings in Pretoria to present a petition to the Prime Minister to get rid of the pass laws. August 9th is now celebrated as Women's Day in South Africa.